Looming over Burma, violence that targets a minority and threatens a nation's future. These images were captured last month. After a row over a piece of jewellery, Buddhist mobs ransacked a Muslim gold shop in the town of Mektila. Buddhist monks stirred sectarian hatred against Muslims. After news spread that a monk had been killed, there was more violence. A man, badly burned, lies on the ground. The image is too graphic to show. The instinct of mercy overwhelmed by hatred. The police, heavily outnumbered, stand by. On the second day, police reinforcements arrive, but the killing and burning goes on. A young Muslim man is dragged out and hacked to death. Violence against Muslims first erupted last June, when thousands were driven from their homes in western Burma. Now a report by Human Rights Watch accuses the state of ethnic cleansing against the Muslim Rohingya minority. What we have found is that the Burmese government and security forces are responsible for attacks on Rohingya in which crimes against humanity were committed. What we're calling for is investigation to see uh, who should be prosecuted for those crimes against humanity, including uh, matters of command responsibility. The allegations came on a day when the European Union decided to drop most sanctions against Burma. The pro-democracy leader Aung San Suu Kyi told me by telephone she supported that decision. You will be aware that there are groups who say it's premature to allow the dropping of sanctions while there's so much violence in the country. I do not think that we should link the economic sanctions to the violence, which has a lot to do with rule of law and with other so social political problems. The end of sanctions is intended to help progress towards democracy. But for many among the Muslim minority, freedom from fear seems far away. Fergal King, BBC News.